This is the Cougar Speeder and the Cougar Speeder 1 showcased here at Computex 2024 for the very first time and this solves all of our problems as gamers and people who work at our desks 24-7. I'm going to take you through every single detail so you know whether you should buy it or not. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at the top-of-the-line premium chair, the Speeder. It's set to retail for $299 and I love both the price and the look of this thing. They designed it with this futuristic gunmetal and carbon color scheme. And when they combine it with a fully mesh material, it gives you this very breathable and good looking chair. But the thing is, it's more than just looks. It's comfortable too. This is by far the most adjustable chair I've ever had the chance to look at. You can pretty much adjust everything on this bad boy. Is the backrest too low? Simply slide it up. It's as easy as that. You can also separately adjust the lumbar support for your back. I have to say it's a little bit weird though. You have to squeeze your hands into the back to do it, but it's still adjustable and I love that. The headrest also moves in quite a different way to what we're used to. And this helps a lot when you recline the chair. And yes, it reclines quite far. You know, the whole, can it do this? Oh yeah, but can you do this? Well, it can, so it's an ergonomic chair that can do this. But this chair raises PewDiePie another thing. It's called a leg rest. I can just imagine how comfortable this will be for mobile gamers and console gamers. The armrest also looks similar to what Cougar usually designs on their chairs. However, they've made a few major improvements. Firstly, there's no clicking. It also swivels a whole 360 degrees. And you guys know how I feel about armrests. Well done, Cougar. And although, yes, the Speeder Premium model is made for the person who spends the whole day basically living at their desk, Cougar knew that there has to be a cheaper, more affordable version of this chair at only $199 for the person who spends maybe 8 hours a day at their chair. And that's where the Speeder 1 comes into play. It's also designed with a similarly breathable material. However, this is more of the conventional plastic type of material, where the Speeder Premium model has what they call a Chanel yarn material. It's a bit softer. Now, although the Speeder 1 is the more affordable version, it still offers the lumbar support feature and also adjustable headrest. The big difference between the two, I would say, is the armrests. These give me airplane seat vibes, not because they're uncomfortable, but because they flip all the way up and out of the way, which is great, especially if you sit like a gremlin, like me. They're also attached to the backrest itself, so it moves when you recline. This does mean that you sadly lose the swivel feature, but they can still move up and down. Another big difference between the two is the built-in leg rests. It doesn't exist on the cheaper version. However, I did have a look underneath the chair, and it did seem to have a few screw holes where you can possibly attach your own leg rest. So it might be an option, but I'm just being positive here. The seat itself can slide forwards, which lets you adjust how far back you are from the headrest itself, and that is a very nice feature. I think these are fantastic ergonomic takes on what we know as the conventional gaming chair, and I think they're a massive improvement. They're more adjustable, more breathable, more comfortable, and a lot more lightweight. And I'm so convinced by what I experienced at Computex 2024 about these Speeder Series chairs that I'm decking my whole studio out with them. That's more than eight of these chairs that I'm ordering in, and I'll make a video as soon as I have them, because I believe these are revolutionary to what we know as desk chairs. They're not as expensive as these massive ergonomic brands put their chairs out to be, and they're also not as cheaply built and junk as some of the cheaper versions of the ergonomic chairs can be. So I think it's right in the middle, and if you're looking to get one of them, I'll leave a link in the description below for the cheapest version that I could find. I hope you have a great day. This was Stefan from We Do Tech. See you in the next one. Cheers, bye.